The ninth commandment of change, and it is, know why you're here. It's called purpose. The ninth commandment of change, you got to know why you are here. There's something about knowing your purpose in life and that when you know your purpose, then you're going to change. When you can understand the purpose for your existence, then it's clear to you that you're going to have to make some changes in order to accomplish the purpose and the design that God has for your life. But a person that doesn't know his purpose, a person that doesn't know the goals for his life, the purpose doesn't understand, the person that understand why they're here and what they're supposed to be doing, they'll remain the same because they don't understand the purpose of their life. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Did you see that? It, now, now I, want, I want to read this and amplify it. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Now, I need to say to everybody here, oh my goodness. I, he, he didn't say when you were in the womb. He said before I formed you in the womb, God said I knew you. He said casting the whole of your care, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all on him. For he cares for you affectionately and he cares for you watchfully. The enemy does want women to be held captive by their past, by their body images, by their ages, by their stages, by their weight, by all sorts of things. Anything he can use to keep you locked up, he will do it. At the time, I was woman that I lose one in five women were molested between the ages of five and fifteen, and it's not gotten better; it's gotten worse. Now it's to one in three, and to all of that, the church is just skipping and dancing and going on and building choirs and having fun and having church, but nobody wants to talk the real issues. Now, God has a wonderful plan for every person's life. Not just some people, every person. Every single person, God has a good plan for your life. If you don't learn how to think like God thinks and say what God says, there is no hope of you ever having victory in your life. We depend way too much on feelings. And we bow down to feelings when we should be bowing down to the Word of God. You can feel wrong and behave right. I can feel like I don't have confidence, but I can be confident. I can feel guilty and be righteous. You're like God. You can live on another level. You can rise above it. Set your mind and keep it safe. I'm going to treat people valuable. Love is all about how you treat people. It's not even being able to quote a few scriptures. It's all about how you treat people. It is good for a man to be disciplined when he's young. Setting boundaries is putting discipline around your life.